friends today we are going to see how to analyze the simply supported beam by using startup tools so here we are going to select the new project like this plain frame then we are going to give name for the file that is ssb the simply supported beam then we have to select the units meter and kilonewton and then we have to add the beams here so we are going to see that grid like this first and we can change the dimension the, the, the dimension of this grid also see here so with this dimension suppose we have put the 1 meter you can change the 2 meter also in x direction as well as in y direction also but here you go here you are going to we are going to keep as 1 meter only spacing between the data lines grid Okay, then we are going to give the first. Uh, we have to select the plane also first. So for the plane, we have to go in the command that given edit, edit in this. So first, we are going to get the first dimension that is uh, x x y z di direct uh, directions. So zero point we are going to define and we are going to select the frame that is x z frame. And after this. We are going to give the second point. With the copy paste also, we can paste that point, or we can use. Here we can use the second point. Suppose this beam having the six meter length in x direction, so we are here in x direction. This x direction, we are going to put the six meter here. After this, we are going to see the view front. Uh, we are going to close the that grid, which the grid is going to disappear, and we are going to select that tag, that add beam, and then we are going to draw the beam also with the add beam command. So the excessive uh, whatever the point created, this I'm going to delete that by considering that zero zero. So that point will disappear. So here we are going to add the beams. After adding the beam, just we are going to take in different direction, and we are going to give the properties of the beam. So first, sorry, we are going to give, see the dimension. So dimension is a six meter. Here we can see the dimension of the beam by using this tag, and then we are going to give the properties for the beam. So in property tag, we have to go property page, and we have to select define section. So we are going to take the rectangle section which having the depth 0.8 meter and 0.23 meter. Just we are going to material we are going to select as a concrete. And here we use cursor to assign that tag we are going to use tab, and then we are going to assign the material for the beam. That oh, sorry section properties for the beam. After this, we are going to give the supports. Here we are designing the simply supported beam, so we are going to consider the pin connections, and we are going to assign the pin connection by using the use cursor to assign. After this, we are going to give the loads. So load page will you people you people are going to see here. So load cases we are going to consider this, consider the new case, load cases first of first load case. We are going to consider the dead load and we are going to be the title for the capital DL and add we are going to add that load similar way and we have to add the live load also so here we are going to consider only the self weight of the beam we are not going to consider any other load and the self weight direction y direction because direction of y is upward here and when load is going to act downward side so we have to do the minus sign also so we are going to add the live load now here in load cases just we have to select the new load cases and load case number 2 primary live load here consider and in title we are going to put as a capital ln so here capital l and add b 
so we are going to close that tab that, that page and here we are going to select the live load on as a member load and member load here in member load so here is member load and where you are going to put the value of live load suppose 5 kn per meter load we have selected download direction so we have to give the negative sign so self weight you are going to add use cursor assign and we have to apply the load so for this beam self weight this question mark is disappearing then in case we get the load is applied or self weight command is applied for that beam and here you can see the live load if you are going to apply you are going to see like this UD okay whatever the blue lines you are getting, getting those lines are for live load then we have to run the program so for, uh, before that we have to do a command and analysis and perform analysis so no print required for other data load data and all things for checks and you have to run the program So we have to save the program. this file you can add the load combinations also so if you are going to consider load combination here load combinations define combinations we have to give the default factor for load combination so if you are going to select the load factor is 1.5 so here's the third combination load test generated which I am the 1.5 dead load and 1.5 live load You can see the input file anytime by putting that tag there. If there are any errors or warning, you can see that error and warning like this. But if there is an error, you have to worry about that. If there are any warnings, just see that warning, you can remove or you can keep like that also. Same. So after this, we can see the bending moments diagram for dead load for live load and combinations also so in result you can see the view values and view values you can get the maximum value for beam so here the value is going to appear and bending moment shape also simply supported beam so moment will be the that uh, sagging moment so for dead load you can see that value 11.705 for live load also you can see the value and for combinations also you can get the values similar way we can see the shape plus also and share first values also so if, you're, if you are going to on the share first diagram fy there and you can see the values in result page view values beam results maximum share forces and maximum so we have to on the share first diagram so here 7. Point 8 of the shear force and we can check these values with the manual calculation for simply supported beam at wl square by 8 also and wl by 2 also okay, this way we can analyze the beam for the pending moment and the shear force by using the this for combination also we can get the maximum value so this how we are going to see this we can this way we can analyze the beam by using the stats software